Yo, what's going on, guys? And what we're hearing right now is that Buddy Heald is supposedly going to stay on the Pacers. Tony East said on Twitter that Pacers GM Chad Buchanan on the on the Buddy he Buddy Heald situation said that Buddy is someone that they love and that they want to have on their team this year. That business of basketball comes into play at times, and we've had those talks with him about an extension, and those talks are at a half right now. That's not to say they're done. We'd like to have Buddy with us. We have no intention of trying to move Buddy, but it's also our job to listen if opportunities come that help us improve the team. That's what we have to do as a front office, but our intention is to have Buddy on the team this year and have him to be a play part of this group, which basically, if I'm going to rephrase that, is no team has came to the Indiana Pacers and given them a good deal. The Indiana Pacers are basically saying, yeah, we've rebuffed and we said no to all the deals that we've heard. Like all the deals have been bogus. We don't like any of them. So Dallas Mavericks, we don't want Tim Hardaway Jr. in the first round pick, okay? You can go find somebody else to take on Tim Hardaway Jr. But I definitely think it'll be interesting to see if this was this, you know, I wonder where he's going to go. There's a lot of teams that should be inquiring about Buddy Heald. A lot of teams that didn't have enough three point shooting. All right. And I actually put out a tweet a few here. Here are the five worst three points. You guys want to hear who the five worst three point shooting teams last year? Here are the, the worst three point shooting in total made threes last year were number one. The worst three point shooting team that should be interested in Buddy Heald is the Chicago Bulls. Next. Who's another team that should be interested in three-point shooting? Well, then I don't really think they should be because they did a lot of upgrades. Their, their guys are getting you know older. That is the Houston Rockets. I don't really think they should be. They, they, they did a good job trying to solve that this offseason. But the Toronto Raptors are the third one. Okay, Toronto, you tried using Will Barton as a potential Band-Aid last season for your three-point shooting. And Will Barton was terrible for the Wizards. And you guys still thought he would try to improve the team. Four, the Charlotte Hornets. I mean, they they have Miles Bridges coming back, so that, that one that one could be a bit different. But in the Atlanta Hawks, I mean, I'm, I have the faith the Atlanta Hawks are going to figure it out. But like, those are the five worst three point shooting teams in total made threes last season, which is awful to think about. Okay, terrible three point shooting. So if those teams aren't interested in getting themselves that Buddy Hield, then I don't know what team should be. And what's the going rate? First off, I think. Buddy Heald's trade value should be the same as Boyan Bogdanovich was on the... Well, I think Boyan Bogdanovich... I'm trying to remember what they traded him for to from... Let me let me get this right. Because I'm definitely going to... I want to see what Boyan's trade value was. Because I think... Is the Utah Jazz... The Utah Jazz traded him for a bag of peanuts, if I remember correctly. In comparison to the Pistons are now asking for a first-round pick at least that's protected for Boyan, Boyan Bogdanovich. But when he was traded from the Jazz, because he signed that four-year deal, so he was traded for Kelly Olenek, Saban Lee, and minimal cash considerations. Okay, okay. I could I could maybe get behind that deal. Like, if I was, like... That's basically, like, the Atlanta Hawks offering... I mean, I don't know if I'm... If the Hawks are really trying to get off of DeAndre Hunter's money... Offer DeAndre Hunter for Buddy Heald in a first round pick. I, is that too much like a protected first? As for a protected first or two second round picks, DeAndre for two second round picks and Buddy Heald for DeAndre Hunter. I just feel like DeAndre Hunter's worth more in his weight of gold than Buddy Heald is. But that's again just me. So I definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts. And yeah, I think that's basically it. I got nothing else to say about this. Seems like Buddy Heal's gonna be a pacer unless somebody wants to overpay. But.